Find out the truth behind night two of Drama Club's performance. It's a special issue. Don't miss out. Who is this wolf? What a freak. Yeah, too bad I couldn't make it the second night. No? Well, actually, I was there. Really? You were? How was it? So violent. Lots of punching, kicking, and by the end, the wolf took out a machine gun and the tiger was covered in flames. What? what? That's terrifying. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bent the truth much? Sheesh. I'm back! Think fast! <laughs> ah, that's an egg salad sandwich and soy milk. Oh, the unsweetened kind. Thanks. Lego shit. Recall not going to the cafeteria or kiosk today. I knew it. How did it go? Uh, let's just say your little improv last night made the front page of the school paper. Everybody bought one. The front page? You're serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a great picture, huh? Bought myself a copy as well. It says, Birth of the Dark Hero. <laughs> what a Jack dog. was definitely there last night. But if he's sitting here with me now, he probably didn't notice that I... I wasn't exactly acting on that stage. <laughs> Seriously, this shot is totally incredible. I mean, like, since when did you and Louie get to be so close? Well, it's not like that. A lot happened up there, which is why this article doesn't exactly show what... Eh? You know, Louie is just amazing. I'm causing him all sorts of trouble. What am I supposed to say when I see him? I'm completely appalled by you two. You're free to brawl all you want here, but not on stage. How do you expect to apologize for all of that? Um, well, I don't know. Where exactly do you think I should start? <clears throat> Honestly, I couldn't care less if you swallowed a small animal's blood to pep yourself up. Unlike with Legoshi, I never expected better from you. <sighs> the problem is that the two of you... A couple of monsters who lost their senses, tainted the stage with blood as if you owned it. If I wasn't there to break it up, would you have actually killed each other? <clears throat> You're both savages as far as I'm concerned. As actor's team lead, I'm suspending you both from drama club until further notice. Uh, I don't want any excuses. Louis, look, don't bother coming to rehearsal uh, starting tomorrow. Behind you. I could have kicked you both out, but I felt... Th <laughs> Sorry to bother you. I'm from the PR department, and I would like to interview you regarding the performance. Is this a good time for that? Uh, um, Louis? What are we supposed to say? Louis, would you mind giving us a few words? At that moment, I thought I caught Louis genuinely excited. Like he was just an 18-year-old. Get what I said. The performance was a success, just as we rehearsed it. And because it was a success, you're going to act accordingly. You understand? Yes. The story of the recent performance is completely different from the previous one. Was this planned all along? Yes, of course. We decided to add a new element to the ending. Oh, I thought so. I think you took the audience by surprise. Uh, could you elaborate more on that, please? Of course. It was a big challenge for all of us. I hope that it left a significant impression on some of the younger students as well. You see, the world we live in today is very complex. We all tend to hide, suppress, and fight each other constantly as we try and live our lives. There's no right or wrong. But as long as you live with a true conviction, you're bound to shine and stand out. So even when you're rough or crude, as long as you have conviction, that is the message these two successfully portrayed on that stage. Well, that will be all from me. Feel free to ask the two of them for more details. Oh, Louis, please don't go. I'd like to ask a few more questions. Was Louis actually talking to me? Did I have it when I destroyed the stage? Conviction. Huh? Hey, Goshi. Did you let the rage die down? The rage? Yeah, of course. That brawl scene last night wasn't an act, duh. What? How did you... Uh, hey, come on, don't waste it. What'd you think I didn't notice? Remind me again, how many years we've been friends? Here, my second rule. You know you want it. I hope you cheer up soon. I know you tend to get easily depressed. Hmm. I didn't want that to change. What? I tried to get over the depression without anyone's help. I've lived with this secret my whole life. 
But yesterday, for the first time, I realized it wasn't enough. There was so much rage within me. I let that rage take over. My feelings are what they are. They belong to me. I can't explain it very well. He's changed. It's great to have moments like that. You don't like it, Legoshi? Hmm. To be honest, I'm not so sure. <laughs> Come on, don't whine about it like that. But that was great. Like it or not, you're full of life right now, Legoshi. Oh, really? You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I have to admit, I've been worried about you since it seems like in recent days you've been having a rough time. Any particular reason I should know about? A reason, huh? Hmm, I don't really know. Could it be... You fell in love? What? Are you serious? You? Who's never had a girlfriend since the beginning of never? Wow, you really have changed! Let's hurry to class. We're gonna be late. Don't tell me, let me guess! Okay, if it's a female wolf in our class, and I'm there's, there's four of them, which narrows things down. Well, unless I'm completely off track. Well, that part's true. Are you saying she's not a wolf? Is she even a canine? What's wrong? Are there more things that aren't going your way? I love that you never pry, Haru. I hope you stay that way. Come here. smells stronger. I like that smell. Just like every year, there are more whites and grays. It's probably mostly mine and Lego she's fur. Maybe. There sure is a bunch more than last year. You guys ready to take it to the yarn shop? We gonna make some money. I get a cut too, don't I? Hey, where should we go for summer vacation? Somewhere far away. On, On a, a train. train. That sounds fun. I've decided that I'm gonna <laughs> ask her out this year. No way. She's totally out of your league, pal. Just like last year, you were invited to participate in the Harper's Festival of the Meteor. Yeah! Of course, we plan to accept. That's awesome! We get to roam around town without an outing permit again this summer. How cool! Count us in! Oh, yeah! Now, remember, guys, this isn't for fun. We're going there to help out with the festival. Yeah! Looks like the art department is going to be busy this year. Why don't we discuss it in the storage room? We can't use the same sculpture again this year. Why does it have to be a dinosaur anyway? Can't we pick something easier? Dinosaurs are the ancestors of all animals. Their very existence is significant. It all happened one summer when the meteor hit, which caused them to go extinct. They say it's a festival where we welcome the ghosts of extinct dinosaurs. But no one really cares about that. The real thing everyone's excited for is the lighting ceremony on the final day. Couples who put a lit candle on the meteor together will live happily ever after. So they say, anyway. It's just a time for people to have some fun. The actors' team will be goofing off with their boyfriends and girlfriends most of the time anyway, so who cares? Yes, team, too. Oh, come on now. They're relying on the art department to come through. You guys don't get what I'm saying. They're probably putting all this extra work on us because we look like we're not doing anything and we're just slacking off. Well, maybe they should give us a break once in a while. We've got one member who gets out. Even though it's been a month since that incident, things are still a bit awkward. Oh, uh, we're not worried about that at all anymore, just so you know. How's your back healing? It's pretty good now. Good. I'm glad. Let's get dinner at the cafeteria. I'm... Sorry, uh, I've got somewhere to be. See you later. Bye-bye. That guy is a real weirdo. You're the one who made it awkward for him to stick around. Just be nice. Fine. Huh? Hmm. These flowers aren't looking too good right now. Who's taking care of them? We need to change the water. Drain it. I'll put in some fertilizer, too. That should do it. Now, don't you worry. I'll nurse you back to health in no time. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so late. Oh, not them again. You look so natural down in the dirt like that. That's what I get for not paying. 
attention. I guess that she only talks to flowers now. How sad. You free! It's true. Talking to flowers is a hundred times more fun than talking to you guys. It's been a little while, Haru. We need to talk. Tell me, did you talk to my boyfriend again by any chance? Uh, does that mean that... You weren't able to get back together? What? Well, sorry about that. But it was a smart decision on his part. Why not take it out on your pals instead? <laughs> Listen to me. All of this is your fault. You see, the Harlequin Rapids are one step closer to extinction, all because of sluts like you who are the scum of the world. You're worthless, and all you do is ruin others' relationships. <sighs> okay. I'll tell you this since you're just so naive and yet adorable. Huh? You're lost, now deal with it. When it comes to love, the more desperate you get, the more you're bound to lose. You can keep playing this stupid game for all I care. I'll be watching you from a distance, so please go on to your heart's content. I'll watch as all you guys crash and burn together because of some stupid little grudge and your species goes extinct. Good riddance. I'll hold a service for you along with the dinosaurs at this year's Festival of the Meteor. There's no point in coming after me, you know. Why not go and try picking on a male rabbit instead? I've really got nothing to lose, after all. I'm free, unlike you guys! <laughs> I guess I made my point. It's not like they didn't deserve it. Who cares? Go ahead, eat her alive! Huh? What she saying? Oh. In front of me now. Are they picking on you? Are you, are you hurt? I, did, did you remember me? I, I, I'm, I'm choked How up. How are you? I can't speak. That was a bit embarrassing. Oh. I've actually been thinking about you all month. Oh, and all the flowers. Instead of keeping you alive, I made you die earlier. I'm sorry. I had forgotten how small she was. Uh, are you okay? I appreciate the thought, but I don't accept any pity from a guy that I've slept with. Excuse me. Well, uh, we never really did anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right. When I took off my clothes, he ran away. I'm kind of hungry after yelling so much. Huh? So, uh, did you have dinner yet? Check that out. He must have kidnapped her for a late snack. She seems pretty talkative over there to be his prey. <laughs> Who's punishing who? Hey, thanks for letting me sit on your backpack. I'm at the perfect height now. R really? Great. Dear God, I'm feeling such guilt right now. I'm... So much has happened recently. I... And I thought I could have gotten past this, but... That's not true at all. Huh? I thought I was moving forward, but I'm exactly where I was. Oh, embarrassing. Not one thing has changed, because I can't even ask a girl her name. This is delicious. How do you ask someone their name? Why do I need to know her name? Why does a wolf need to ask a rabbit for their name? What is a name anyway? Listen, I don't know what's going on with you, but cheer up, will ya? Eat your food. He won't grow if you don't. Oh, I forgot about the food. <laughs> I'm so not excited for midterms. History is my worst subject. Her voice. It sounds like a lonely child. It's an unusual voice. I wonder if she'll actually respond if I were to ask her, What's your name? Maybe that bite was too big for you. You're really nasty. <laughs> it's not polite to stare so intently at a girl while she's eating. No, I, I, sorry. I'm kidding. I wanted to apologize for what happened last time. So I'm glad we got to talk. It's just... I had my mind set on sleeping with a wolf that time you were there. But... Decision that day. To be perfectly honest. Um... What does that mean? I think I get it, but... 
I don't even know your name, so it feels like there's such a huge gap between us. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. What my body is feeling right now... Well, I probably can't help it. But every time he opens his wide mouth and shows his fangs, I... I... I instinctually want to run very far away from you. Boy, this is rough. Never thought having dinner with a wolf would be this nerve-wracking. Miss Rabbit, I get the feeling that you don't want to see me anymore. Things can't end where I've seen you without your clothes, but I never even asked you your name or anything else about this you. This wolf is probably a really good guy, and I want to be friends with him. But the physical differences are too real. I don't know how to get over it. The best thing to do would be to keep my distance. Is this the right time? Should I ask her her name? Close the gap? By the way... Oh, that was delicious. <clears throat> Thanks for having dinner with me. That was quite a treat. I'm going back to the dorms, and you? Yeah, same here. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, sorry. Just gotta fix this. Huh? Can I help? Oh. There. Our first real eye contact. Rabbit's eyes are pitch black. Huh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Creating the gap all along. Oh, and by the way, my name isn't Rabbit. Actually, my name's Haru. What's yours? Legoshi. I want to see you smile more. I want to see more of you. If I can lock eyes with you like this again, I'd do anything, no matter what it takes. <laughs>